Greetings brothers and sisters in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today we will see when Christ told it is finished and it is done three times in the Bible. All that statement has important spiritual significance. We will penetrate through Bible verses and understand the spiritual significance of these three victory statements. Let us hear prayerfully. Now we will look at the Bible verses where Christ told it is finished and it is done. Firstly, during the crucifixion scene, Christ told the first victory statement in John chapter 19. Bible says, so when Jesus has received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. Secondly, before the second coming, Christ told the second victory statement in Revelation chapter 16. Then the seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air, and a loud voice came out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, It is done. Thirdly, after creating new heaven and new earth, Christ told the third victory statement in Revelation chapter 21. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new, and he said to me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Now, these three victory statement, that is, it is finished and it is done, has deeper spiritual thoughts and application in our spiritual life. Now, we will look what is the real meaning conveyed from Greek New Testament. So, firstly, in John chapter 19, the word used for it is finished is tetalasti, which means it has been finished or it has been accomplished. Secondly, in Revelation 16 and Revelation 21, the word used for it is done is georgia, which means it has become. So the both statement has a similar meaning, which means the task has been accomplished. So this is what Christ is trying to say at each phase of his ministry. Now we will dig deeper and understand why Christ said the statement at particular time. There are five spiritual lessons we can learn from each victory statement of Christ. In upcoming videos, we will see all the topics described in separate video lectures. For now, we will look what topic we are going to learn in upcoming videos from this three victory statement of Christ. Firstly, it teaches about the salvation, that is steps involved in salvation, justification, sanctification and glorification. Secondly, it teaches about the signal for God's time, 4000, 6000, 7000 year end. Thirdly, it teaches about the statement of victory in the great controversy. Christ victory over death, Christ victory over sin, Christ victory over Satan. Fourthly, it teaches about sanctuary. Whenever Christ said this statement, something happened in sanctuary. The temple veil, the throne of God, the tabernacle of God. Fifthly, it teaches about Sabbath. Whenever Christ said the statement, the next thing will be the beginning of Sabbath. Salvation Sabbath, Millennium Sabbath, Eternal Sabbath. So, I encourage you to hear the upcoming videos slides to learn more about these five yes. That is salvation, signal for God's time, statement of victory, sanctuary and Sabbath. These will help you to grow your spiritual life. Today, if you are hearing and thinking, what is your purpose of your life? You may think your life is full of failures and sins. Don't worry, today Jesus is giving promise to you. He who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Same Jesus who told it is finished in the cross and it is done in the heaven will finish the good work which he has already begun in your life. Your work is just to look unto Jesus. 
the author and finisher of our faith. So don't worry about your future and don't forget to see the upcoming 5 years series. God bless you. Jesus will be with you always. Jesus says, do not be afraid, be strong and courage. God bless you. Amen.